my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Hey guys, welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I've got a great creamy flick lined up for us. It is Alfred Warrior's 1967 spooky flick. And I'm gonna have to glow off my notes for this one because I cannot pronounce this thing to save my life. It is Der Monch mit Der Pitch, which is the college girl's murders. And guys, it is as fun as it sounds. So let's dive right into this horror thriller. Here is College Girl Murders. Der Monch mit Der Pitch, aka The College Girl Murders, is an unabashedly fun Edgar Wallace inspired creamy film that, like most creamy efforts, has a tongue firmly placed in cheek attitude. Brimming with interesting characters and wildly atmospheric locations, this Alfred Vorier directed gem packs in quite an intriguing mystery. With its abundance of exciting twists, strings of red herrings, and tendency to dip into the macabre in excess of amounts, The College Girl Murders is an outstandingly funny and often engaging outing that is sure to satisfy anyone looking for murder, mystery, and of course, a plethora of manic moments. The film centers on an all-girls college where a series of grisly murders have been occurring in and around the grounds of the school. One by one, the students begin to drop like flies by an assassin who uses various poisonous devices to accomplish his diabolical deeds. To make matters more complicated, a red-hooded monk armed with a whip is also on the prowl. With the bodies beginning to pile up, Scotland Yard is called in to investigate. Led by Inspector Higgins, a practical and charismatic examiner, and Sir John, the whimsical and farcical chief inspector, the dynamic duo must figure out a way to stop the killings while unmasking the fiend behind it all. Can the two get to the bottom of this sordid plot and foil the killer's plans, or are the remaining girls doomed to death like their fallen peers? Joachim Fuschberger takes on the role of Inspector Higgins, while Siegfried Schurenberg plays Sir John. To those out there that are not strangers of the creamy genre, both Fuschberger and Schurenberg should be two familiar faces. The outstanding actors have shared the screen together in countless other creamy films, like The End on the River, Room 13, and The Mysterious Magician. In the case of The College Girl Murders, Fuschberger and Schurenberg do a fantastic job as they riff off of each other with the greatest of ease. Fuschberger gives his Higgins role a surefire cocky disposition that always seems to have each situation under control. While Schoenberg's Sir John is left foolishly grasping at straws, ultimately providing a great deal of comedic moments that truly lift up the film into whimsical territory. The chemistry between the two is just phenomenal, and it is in these wacky moments when both characters are interacting that the film genuinely leaps to life and brings on the fun. As with any creamy entry, the atmosphere and locations are a standout necessity, and with the College Girl Murders, we are given that in copious amounts. First and foremost, the actual college in which the film is genuinely centered around is a harbinger for outstandingly creepy visuals and iconic imagery. From the darkened corridors of the dormitories to the strange venues of the school's swimming pool with underwater glass viewing window, to the fog-shrouded grounds of the college's estate, the film has plenty of opportunity to wow its audience with something truly spectacular and fresh. This tradition also carries over into the main villain's secret hideaway, where we are given some Bond-esque views of the madman's eccentric lair, complete with an alligator pit and an aquarium encased room. The inventful aspects of the film's visual presentation and outlandish sets goes hand in hand with the movie's imaginative ways in which the killer dispenses with his victims. From a poison vapor spewing Bible, to a silly ray gun that dispenses deadly webbing, to a few more unusually conceptualized murdering devices, the film spares no expense in entertaining the audience at every turn. There's also some ridiculous fun to be had with the red-hooded monk character, who kills his victims with a bullwhip. If anything can be said about this movie, it would be that it definitely has a lot going for it. From the multiple twists and turns that the narrative takes, 
to the wildly over-the-top characters, to the visually imaginative nature of the entire production, you really can't deny that the movie keeps your attention to the very end. Ultimately, that's seemingly the main goal of this original and downright fun creamy, and in that perspective, it is a job exceptionally done. The College Girl Murders is a wild, creamy-fueled ride, which never hesitates in bringing out every trick in the book. Its fun-filled attitude and whimsical style really adds to the enjoyability factor of the film. Joachim Fuschberger and Siegfried Schurenberg do a bang-up job as two unlikely partners caught up in the most intriguing of mysteries. As previously stated, their chemistry is top-notch, and the comedic timing between the two is impeccable serving to be the main source of the fun to be had from this wacky film. As for the sets and locations of the movie, they are on par with most genuinely well done Edgar Wallace productions, but this time with an added and more visually vivid approach thanks to the use of color and panache infused style. The settings of the all-girls school, the fog shrouded woods, and the villain's lair are all tremendously succinct aspects of the production that really shine in the screen. The mixture of moody locations Whimsical banter, macabre humor, inventive horror, and oddball characters is a perfect blend, and in this motley assortment of film flavors, the College Girl Murders provide a delightful example of what this interesting genre can conjure up. If you're looking for an entertaining mystery that spares no expense in the fun department, then give this one a go. The College Girl Murders is one creamy that is frighteningly entertaining. And guys, that is the insanely entertaining The College Girl Murders. And for a creamy film, it is the cream of the crop. Just fabulously entertaining, fun, comedic, horror mixture that you just can't get in any other genre. Creamy is the way to go. But guys, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, Leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, guys, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.